all of a sudden now he's better than this guy. I'm like, how? This guy yeah. If I win, you play for my what a movie. I really enjoyed this movie better than I thought I would. It was mm. funny, um, obviously campy and corny at times, but for the most part, I think it will surprise a lot of people. Pete Davidson was the star of the show. He was really funny and captivating. I, I felt like his um, one-liners were really like quick and was right at the moment. Like, he wasn't over the top for too much. He was just... I think um, they should scrap up to most Prime altogether because he has been virtually useless since the very first Transformers. I, I'm sorry, I I'm tired of it. I am tired of it. Even uh, what's his what's his name? Optimus Mirage. Prime Primal. Yeah. Said he, he is not the Optimus Prime I expected. It is terrible. Jesus. I were done with you, Optimus. Done. Wow. No, sorry. I'm, I'm still on your side. So <laughs> <laughs> anyway, he was um he was basically like a. A D.I.C.K. to humans, and but it was, it was fun to see him and the origin of his story and how he became the Prime we see. Um, the human characters, what are the names again? So the movie does boast a ton of uh, actors, actors yeah. uh, starting with Anthony Ramos, nice. Liza Koshi, Peter Cullen, Pete Davidson, Ron Perlman, Michelle Yeoh, <laughs> Toby, Dominic Fishback, Peter Dinklage, which I didn't even know about. It was scourge. Yeah. Um, Christopher Fernandez, Michelle J. Rodriguez, uh, Coleman Domin Dominico. There's there's a ton of other people. Yeah, so Oh my god! Tongai was in it. He was Cheeto. Oh he was an eye zombie. Oh nice. Okay. But the human characters I'm talking about is Anthony uh, Ramos and Dominic Fishback. Yeah. Those two guys about. were so good because you know in movies like this you can phone it in and be horrible, but they didn't. They were actually very good and took the, the people the, of color. Wow. <laughs> wow. They take their job seriously. They they actually took the role <laughs> serious. They brought you know, they, they came prepared, you know. So that's what I'll say, you know. I just Am thought, I wrong? Oh, wow. <laughs> anyway, this <laughs> You've got me off now. What's wrong with you? They came prepared and they could have been corny. They could have just phoned it in and got the bag. But they did a very good job in selling their performances, which was good. That's all I'll say. I'll stop there. You continue. I liked it. I was entertained. It reminded me very much about the first movie. And it made me no. want to go back and watch. No, it was the same feeling I had oh. when I was watching the first movie. Okay, I like, see. It, I had that excitement. They yeah. kind of let you down, I what? think. Calm down, let me finish. It's my review. Okay, continue. They kind of let you down with pacing, like, towards the end. I thought that it was... It, they were pushing the emotion a little bit too hard. Mm -hmm. But then I remembered what I was watching, and I was like, you know what? It's fine. We're not here for... Um, Oscar, Oscar performances. Or, you Oscar know, script. Exactly. Yeah. Like, we're here for the action and the cheese, and that's what we got in Spain. Lots so. of cheese. Is I would rather watch this than family, family, fast and furious. No, that's a different kind of cheese now. Well, yeah. No, 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 you can't compare the two. Well, it was again, it's an exciting movie, and there's always you're always at the edge of your seat because mm -hmm. there's action in every, mm -hmm. most every, every every other scene is an action scene. There's yes. always something happening. You know, Pete Davidson. Pete Davidson was making you laugh. In this. And one-liners and Mirage was my favorite, I think. And then he um, was Anthony Ramos too was doing his own thing. The soundtrack in this was, was great. It was okay. It was great. I like I, I loved it. Yeah. It was great. You know, it, it's <laughs> maybe all... maybe I'll do a music off and maybe I'll appreciate it more. Yeah, it was and everything was just like mama say knock you out. Mm -hmm. Some color will come back. That was that was mm -hmm. cool. I like, I could go You like that one. I love no not just that one. There were a lot of um, the musical choices they made that was good. And it was amazing, especially when Mirage and Anthony Ramos were in the scene together. It was amazing. It was yeah. amazing. I think the one thing I'll say about this movie is like, you know, they have generic bad guys, you know. Yeah. Um, a lot of things that have happened, you've seen it before. Prime is just annoying. Like she said, he fights the bad guy the first time. He gets his hat. He gets beaten and, and, and something happens to Bumblebee. He fights the second time. It was, um, what's her name? Mitchell, you that saved him. Mm. I'm like, dude, can't you learn? And then the third time, all of a sudden now, he's better than this guy. I'm like, how? This guy beat you twice. Now all of a sudden, now you cannot kick his ass. You now know all his moves. You're like, dude, come on. Like, 
They also set it up that Antonio Ramos's character was like Noah was like no, uh, yeah, uh, ex army. Yeah. You know, and they don't really show us. I mean, ex ex army. He's trained, isn't he? They don't well, really show us his skills throughout the. But they said he's he's a he's a, like a mechanic. He can fix things. And Which they the, said, but they didn't really show him fixing anything. He's a transformer. What is he going to fix? <laughs> <laughs> and he did. At the end, he brought Mirage back. He was able to fix yes, it. So he did. It's just that his skill set, they didn't really use it as much as you thought it, they would. You know, in this one, because the way they made it sound like it would come in handy at the end. And mm. at the end, he didn't really need that. And then the end scene, we both had a problem with this because they thought about a plan that would have made sense from the beginning. And like, no, we can't do this because the explosion will be like an atomic bomb times. 200. I'm like, okay, maybe that's what we were thinking. Hiroshima, and then yeah, we got uh air fart. Yeah, like, is that it? <laughs> oh, you guys, it's all good, it's, it's all, all good, exactly. It's, it's all, all good. good. It was still an entertaining movie on its yeah. own. What would you give it? I'll give it an eight because I, I didn't go there with expectations yes. and it blew me out of the water. Yeah, I and I feel that. like even if I went there with expectations, it would still blow me out because mm. to me. This is officially my best Transformers movies. It's better than the first one because... No, the first one is still my favorite one, no, no. I think. I think the first one was too slow. You didn't get a lot of action scenes. You know, there's a beginning action and you don't know how to mm. get to the end. This one, in like the middle, the end, the beginning, there's action sequences that The second going. one still had all the original cast in it too, right? It was the third that they started losing people, right? I can't remember. It's because like, I think I have two that I really, really liked. And it might have been the first and the second one. I enjoyed Bumblebee. It was a lot slower than yeah. I, I would have liked. But I like Bumblebee because I love Hayley um, Seinfeld. But this one was good. So if I had to... If I had to rate, my rating would be an eight. Definitely a solid eight yeah. for this movie. It was it was entertaining for the most part. It was funny for the most part. I love the main actors, the human actors. I, I thought that their chemistry was good. Yeah. I really enjoyed... The fact that it was set in 1994, but didn't yeah. really feel like 1994. No, I I, I like that. They, they did some stuff even walkie talkies that were like, oh, yeah, you know, okay, that was yeah, in, like innovative at that time because you didn't really see people use technology like that. Mm -hmm. But it was really really good. Yeah, it was really really good. I think people would love it. And then this theater was full with kids. It was packed. They were laughing. They were yeah. engaged. They were listening. When something happened, they would giggle. Yeah. Like, well, this is good. It was so, engaging. That's the truth. Yeah, yeah. it was. Our kids really enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. That was a... We a had a good time, time with yeah. it. So, I'm not really complaining too much, if I'm being honest. You can take your kids to, to it too as well. But it has some sexual in, um, jokes that were not directly in your face, but you what get... What? Where it was like, oh, you just call me an office buddy, but you were inside me. Yeah, but you can take that literally too. It's a dating man instead of going at the... But you know, Pete Davis is good. Well, we we hope you guys enjoyed the review. <laughs> Apparently, our kids woke up for no goddamn reason, so we gotta go put them down. But yeah, be sure to like, put subscribe, them to bed. hit yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we hope you guys enjoyed this. Be sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know when we post new videos. And we will see you in the next. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>